I'll be leading a united conservative delegation uh, to visit the Republic of India, the world's largest democracy, uh, one of the fastest growing markets on earth. Uh, in order to renew acquaintances and connections that I've developed uh, with uh, Indian leaders in both government and business over the past two decades, um, and to uh, advocate for Alberta's uh, vital trade and commercial interests, and to promote investment in Alberta. I look forward to uh, visiting uh, over the next week with uh, the United Conservative critic for trade, uh, uh, Devin Dreeshin, and our energy critic, Prasad Panda. We'll be starting our visit in New Delhi, the Indian capital, uh, with meetings with senior government and political leaders, uh, many of whom, as I say, I've known for many years. Uh, we'll then be going on to Amritsar to visit Punjab, where, amongst other things, I'll be uh, visiting the uh, Golden Temple, and then uh, on to uh, Jamnagar, where we'll be visiting the largest uh, oil refinery, apparently in the world, uh, that is operated by Reliant, to get a better understanding of the Indian energy market, uh, which is potentially so, such a huge opportunity uh, for Alberta exports. Finally, we'll be ending up in uh, uh, Mumbai, the commercial capital of India, uh, to meet with uh, many of the top business leaders in that country, uh, particularly those involved in the energy industry. I'm really looking forward. This is going to be my, I think, my fifth visit uh, to India. I've sp I spent a great deal of uh, my time in the federal parliament and government uh, trying to strengthen uh, the Canada-India relationship, two countries bound together on the basis of common values and institutions, our belief in uh, the rule of law, parliamentary democracy, English-speaking countries with a, a commonwealth heritage uh, that have uh, so many uh, strong links, including the presence of our large and dynamic uh, uh, community of Indian origin here in Alberta. So I'm very excited about this visit. Uh, part of our effort to demonstrate how a future United Conservative government uh, will be placing a huge emphasis on diversifying Alberta's export markets and our economy something that's critical for our future prosperity.